All across the nation, people are working hard to build a better environment for future generations, striving to keep our water, rivers, lakes, and seashores free from pollution. That means ensuring that wastes are carried efficiently to treatment plants, and so making our surroundings a safer place in which to live. This is done by installing the best sanitary sewers we can, using pipe made from the finest material available, a material which is the most naturally formed substance of all, clay. From the earth and back again. Vitrified clay pipe is the sewer pipe of permanence for our nation's developing cities and communities. So what makes clay pipe so different from any other kind of sewer pipe? Ceramics. Ceramic tiles keep the space shuttle from burning up on re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. An example of the strength and durability of ceramics, a material formed by firing clay. When fired at very high temperatures, clay becomes vitrified, dense and strong. Unlike other pipe materials, clay forms its own bond, one solid piece, rather than individual particles bonded together with additives or cement. It's a melting process. The individual particles of clay literally fuse together. It's inert or at rest chemically. Its physical properties are not affected by time or temperature, nor will it creep or become deformed under constant load. There is nothing in clay pipe to disintegrate. It resists the abrasive wear and chemical decomposition so common with other pipe materials. Out of all the different types of pipe used for sewer systems, it has been proven throughout history that clay pipe is the most natural and outstanding choice. Installed almost 4,000 years ago in the Royal Palace of Knossos on the island of Crete, sanitary clay drains have been found still in good condition. Roman engineers used clay pipe to carry drinking water, as well as for drainage, and brought the practice with them to England. The use of clay pipe for sanitation was widespread in English communities by the 19th century. As early as 1815, Washington, D.C. installed clay pipe, and Philadelphia and Boston laid theirs in 1829. These systems are still working and in use. Vitrified clay pipe is virtually ageless which avoids the extreme high cost of replacing a community sewer system. Replacement costs could literally bankrupt some municipalities. Vitrified clay pipe certainly has been and will continue to be the best all-around choice for permanent sewers. Over recent years, the manufacture of clay pipe has changed. New technology and modern manufacturing techniques have brought this art into a new age. It all starts at the mine. As we've said, clay is nature's most inert product. It results from natural pulverization of rocks and earth. Different types of clays have been extensively researched and analyzed to ensure the best combination of properties to produce the best clay for the job. The raw clay that comes out of the mine is ground to a powder-like substance in preparation for extrusion. Manufacturing of clay has advanced to the point where the process is almost fully automated. Four through 42 inch pipe in lengths up to 10 feet are manufactured on automated presses. The clays are fed into the pug mill where water is added. At this point, the clay and water mix is fed into a vacuum chamber to remove the air. This results in a denser and stronger body than pipe made years ago. The clay is then extruded through a die to form the finished pipe. The machines trim and put the pipe on pallets automatically. The pipe is moved to drying rooms and put through a drying cycle where nearly all the moisture is removed. Maximum temperatures here may reach around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Recovered heat from the kills is usually used to dry the pipe, which keeps energy usage down. The pipe is now ready to be fired. Clay pipe are fired either tunnel or periodic kills. In a tunnel kill, the pipe travels slowly through on a track. 
the pipe goes through different zones with gradually increasing temperature until it reaches the vitrification zone. At this point, the temperature of the kill is about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The larger pipe is usually fired in downdraft periodic kills. Again, vitrification temperatures of about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit are reached. This type of kill is capable of firing up to 270 tons of pipe at one time. Today, all kills are highly efficient and are insulated with ceramic fiber insulation. Computerized firing schedules enable the manufacturer to produce high quality products consistently and efficiently. In fact, less energy is used to produce clay pipe than other types of pipe. Now the pipe is ready for the next stage, the application of the joints. Historically, the joints for clay pipe were made in the field using cement, tars, and mastics. These joints were only as good as the materials and the skill of the pipe layer. These joints satisfied the requirements and represented the state of the art at that time. Recognizing the need to improve the jointing system, the clay pipe industry developed compression joints, which are factory applied and meet the rigid requirements of modern sanitary sewers. When properly installed, these flexible compression type joints form a watertight seal. Groundwater cannot seep in and only sewage is carried to the treatment plant. Compression joints resist contamination of the groundwater and root penetration and reduce maintenance costs. The flexibility of the joint also allows slight movement of the line without disturbing joint tightness. Factory prefabrication reduces labor costs in the field and the joints meet rigid ASTM and other industry standards. The American Society for Testing and Materials issues several standards which apply specifically to clay pipe, some of which cover the performance criteria of the pipe and joining system, and others which address the installation and field acceptance testing of the completed line. Tests which are conducted at the factory include acid resistance, bearing strength, shear load, and joint deflection. Corrosion resistance has long been a hallmark of ceramic materials. From ancient times to today's high-tech applications, ceramics need no special coatings or linings for protection because the ability to resist corrosive attack is inherent in the material. The acid resistance test provides assurance that the pipe will remain durable in domestic, commercial, industrial, and other hostile environments. Since there may be land use changes during the long periods of time that the sewer is expected to function, it is particularly important that a sewer pipe have the ability to transport these kinds of wastes. Unlike water and gas lines, sewer lines go deep to keep the wastewater flowing by gravity to the treatment plant. It takes a strong material to permanently withstand the high earth loads which are encountered. Clay pipe bearing strength provides the basis for the engineer to compute the field supporting strength of the pipe and to determine what type of bedding is required. Tests are also conducted by the National Clay Pipe Institute as part of an ongoing research program to develop safer and more economical methods to install clay pipe. In this experiment, a test line will measure the load on the pipe in a deep burial application. Public agencies have begun to recognize the need to get extended life from their sewer systems. This means setting well-chosen priorities for the limited funds that are available. Governments at all levels must get the best value for their public works investment. Performance and permanence must become prime considerations when decisions are made. The durability of any public facility requires first-rate engineering, top quality materials, proper installation, and competent inspection. It pays to invest in quality and performance. The true cost of a sewer is the installed cost divided by the number of years of useful life. 20 years won't do it. 50 years isn't enough. We must think of 100 years and more. Public officials, engineers, and developers must ask themselves the fundamental question if we can't afford to do it right, can we afford to do it again? From those who are doing it right come these testimonials. Project Engineer, San Francisco. 
We're specifying clay pipe because of its resistance to corrosion and erosion on the steep hills where velocities exceed 20 feet per second. City engineer, Victoria, Texas. We recognize that the structural integrity and chemical resistance of vitrified clay made it the best material for the longest possible design life of the sewer. Director of Water and Sewer Utilities, High Point, North Carolina. Over the years, we fought for quality materials and to make sure that we really know what it costs to own and operate a system. As owners, we've got to insist on performance. City Engineer, Ohio. In a perfect world, we probably could have used a number of different pipes in the project, but we have to plan for the long-term safety of the residents. Consultant, Chicago. For over 40 years, I've been involved in the design and installation of thousands of linear feet of clay pipe in hundreds of projects. All projects were successful and are in satisfactory use today. And from the city of Los Angeles, California. Over the past 60 years, the performance of clay pipe has been exceptional, particularly since the development of the compression joints, which are watertight and impervious to root intrusion. There's a long line of municipalities where vitrified clay pipe sewers have served for more than 100 years or more. Properly installed vitrified clay pipe is permanent. It will never have to be replaced. It has a great future with its pure inert qualities, high resistance to chemicals, and the ability to be installed as a permanent trouble-free system. It is a natural for the many environmental challenges ahead. Communities are making the right decisions about their environment, ensuring a quality of life for future generations, choosing clay pipe, the most natural product of all, from the earth and back again. <laughs>